So how does a king reign with words of command? That's how Jesus reigned. Now, that's how you're going to reign in this life. If you do not rise up and decide to demand that things... Listen, whenever I'm talking to a, a person that has whatever disease, and I speak to that disease, I'm not talking to the person. I'm speaking to the disease. I'm speaking to the problem. I'm speaking to the mountain. I'm speaking to the fig tree. Do you understand? I have biblical precedent for this. And I speak to this thing. And guess what? I don't say, uh, sickness, would you please leave? It's God's will that you leave. I, I believe it's God's will. If it's not, Lord, if it be thy will, you can make this leave. He ne- you never see that in prayer anywhere in the Bible. No, he tells us, you're my representative. Represent. Yes. Step up, rise up, begin to speak to these things. Why? Because one of these days, it's all going to be yours. And you're going to have to speak to these things. Why? Because the earth groans waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes. It's waiting for you to rise up and go, you know what? Blessed, listen. He's waiting for you to rise and say, you know what? I'm a son of David. Why? Because I'm of the lineage of Jesus. And because of that, I'm a king. Because of that, he made me a king and a priest. And now I am speaking to this mountain. I'm saying, mountain, you better get out of my way. And I don't mean maybe. You're going to move and you're going to move now in Jesus' name. And the more serious, now get, get this, the more serious and the bolder you speak, the faster it works. You need to get that. That's that's the secret. The bolder you get and the stronger you get in commanding these things to happen, the faster it... Now, if you're going to be weak and timid, oh, mountain, I I don't want to talk too loud. I don't want nobody to hear me. But mountain, you need to get out of my way. That mountain's going to go, you don't really believe this. Why? Because you're not willing to speak up. Amen. Why? You don't have boldness. Boldness means the freedom to speak. If a person is bold, they stand up and they speak. This is how it'll be. That's right. one of the reasons why I had to go to South Bend, Indiana. I had to, dry, had to travel, move my whole family up there just so I could get around Dr. Sumrall. Why? Because I had to learn that. I had to learn that statement. I, I don't mean maybe. Amen. That's what I got from him. It'll be this way and no other. That's what I got from him. I, I, I learned faith from Tulsa. But then I had to go to South Bend and actually find out how to apply it, and I had to see it working in a man, and I saw it in Dr. Summerall. And, then, and the first time I heard that, I was like, who talks like that? <laughs> and the first time I heard him pray and commanding, I'll never forget, you probably heard me talk about it. I, I sneak in there in the front, because we were working the night shift at the, on the prayer line. We were volunteering for it. And he came in the front door, and he's standing up there in the dark, and he's got a light that's shining on a map. And he's walking around in this light, and he starts praying. He's, and, but it wasn't like, oh, Father, Father, if thou canst see it in thine infinite mercy. <laughs> that is not the he. Listen, he talked like a board of directors in a boardroom meeting. That's, that's prayer. He talked like that, and he would look at this map, and I'll never forget, the first time I heard it, that's why it stuck with me, and I always use the same illustration because that's what I heard him say. He looked up at that map, and he said, that uprising in the Congo, it stops, and I don't mean maybe. He said, that president is a good man. He's a man of God, and he will stay in power, and it will be this way and no other way, and I'll never forget that, and I'm, I'm, I'm hiding behind this pillar listening to him because I, you know, I didn't want him to know I was there. And he's talking, and I'm thinking, who talks like that? Who pray? What is he doing? What was he doing? He was like a board of directors or a director in a board meeting. He, that's how he spoke. And, he's, and it was just, okay, and then he moved on to the next thing. He didn't stand there and talk about it for 20 minutes. He, and he didn't guess God's plan. He knew what it was. He knew that it was right. And so that's where I learned that from. And then I started, and and I remember 10 years later, I'm praying for the sick, and that starts coming out. And I'm like, you know, I I knew where it came from, but I'd never used it before. And then I told that person, now get up. Well, I can't get up. And you never will if you don't do it now. Now get up. And they actually got up out of a wheelchair. And then I stood back. (laughs) I, I was shocked. <laughs> okay. Why? Because I wasn't used to acting like a king. I wasn't used to giving a command and it being obeyed. 
But now I've learned to do that, and we've seen results around the world under every kind of circumstances uh, and the most impossible situations.